What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy whatever day I get to post this video for you guys, hopefully later on today. Today is travel day. I am leaving the campground and heading to Orlando for the next four or five days, where I will start to celebrate my birthday. My birthday is Friday the 13th. I will be turning 57 years old. I'm pretty excited. I have some things planned that I want to go to, some things I want to see, and I will be taking you guys along with me as much as possible. And I'm pretty excited. Uh, I cleaned up my campground. I'll give you guys a quick look at that. Everything is all packed away. I have about two bags to put inside of the van when I take off. The only thing I have left to do now is take a shower, change clothes, and head on out. So in today's video, I thought it would be a nice ending video or a nice last video for this uh, campground is to walk you guys on the Lover's Lane Trail. And from there, I will just talk to you guys about some things that I have planned for my birthday weekend and talk along as I'm walking through the Lover's Lane Trail. All right, guys, here we are at the start of Lover's Lane Trail. As you can see, it ends right where my campsite is. So whenever I walk this uh, trail, I don't know what to call it, but we'll see. I end up back at my uh, site. So let's get going and walk this Lover's Lane Trail. I have to keep my eyes on my footing. <laughs> Otherwise, it could be potentially dangerous. <laughs> So I'm just going to walk it and talk it with you guys. I think this trail to me is very, very interesting. First of all, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but you can hear all those little tiny geckos. I believe that's what they called roaming around in the trees. And at times you will hear some birds and everything. It's this bird here that actually sounds like it's a woodchuck bird because it's like this knocking sound. And I had a chance to get a look at it, but it was very interesting. Here we have a bench. If you want to stop somewhere during the trail and have a little snack or so, you can. But check out these little planks. I don't know what they're called. I'm going to call them planks. They're in a zigzag formation. So you really have to watch your footing. And there are guys that have come through here at night. And I was going to attempt to come through here at night with my little headlamp on, but I chickened out. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it would have been an interesting experience though, but I never got to it. You can see where the uh, path is going. <laughs> my, my, my. This is a very interesting walk and I'm gonna try to show you guys as much of it as possible as I'm walking through. This right here I found interesting. This little tree formation right here. It just reminds me of one of those scenes from like, um, what is that? What is that movie? Uh, Photo. Uh, his name is not Photo, the main character. Um, Lord of the Rings. It reminds me of something like that. And then this is the only step right here that if you miss it, <laughs> you're going down. <laughs> you are going down. Look at that. And inside of there, very interesting to me. On this side, nothing but trees. And the path continues on these little planks. You can see where they rebuilt or redid some of the planks. I guess they were worn out and gotten older. Here's another little interesting little, I don't even know what to call that stuff.
This is where they rebuilt this section here. And you can see where we're heading all the way down this way. This also reminds me of like a, a Tarzan scene. And look at there, there are some, what are those, apples, pears? Let's see what they are. That is so crazy. I walked this path like so many times since I've been here and I've never seen these before. I wonder if I can get one of those. I don't, I wouldn't eat it though. It looks like a green apple. Man, let me see if I can grab one of those without falling and killing myself. I really want to get one. Shucks. Uh. 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 <sighs> I got it, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a um it looks like an orange. It does. It looks like an orange. Yeah, look. It looks like an orange. Man. That took some effort. <laughs> but look at this. That looks like an orange of some sort. Anyway, I'm going to keep it. And when I get back to my campsite, I'm going to cut it open and see what it is. I'm not going to eat it. I just want to see what it is. All right, let's move on. All right, here's another picnic table. I never even noticed those. Look, you can see them clear now. Look at that. You can see them really clear now. That is so crazy that I have walked this path at least eight to 10 times since I've been here. And never seen that tree. All right, guys, now the wood paths are over with, the wood planks are over with, and it opens up a little bit to this little opening. Just keep moving forward. We got a little play area over there. Wink, wink. Interesting little open section right here. And you go through like two or three different like terrains that you're walking on. You walked on the wood planks. Now come into a little sand section. Right through here. I 
I hear those little geckos <laughs> roaming around. There are also uh, squirrels around as well. Now, hopefully you'll get a surprise when I come out of here. Let's see. Nope, they're not there. <laughs> Man, that's too bad. Because a couple days that I came this path, it starts to open up. There were cows. There were a herd of cows right here grazing. Man, I wish they were there now. But when I saw the cows, I was like, okay, whose cows are they? Because I don't even see like a barn or anything where the cows can go. So I'm very curious to know where are they now? Do people bring them out here from someplace else and let them graze and then come and get them and take them back to wherever they are housed? And the same thing with deer. I saw a herd of deer out there on the field one night. I was sitting on the porch of the office and I thought, where in the world did they come from in this open field? But yeah, now we are coming towards the end. <clears throat> Just in a little bit, we'll be at the entrance of the campground. <clears throat> also coming up to another play area. Wink, wink. And you come in, out into this open field, which they call the tent area. There are some tables and chairs right there, site T3. And then there's one more right there. Now, this is the site. See where that guy is sitting right there? That's the site that I had a choice of getting as well. It has a, I don't wanna go too close to him. At that little wood structure right there is a outdoor shower, but it didn't have a, a bathroom down here. I would have to walk all the way up to the other end to get to the bathroom. And then there, that little structure right there is the playhouse. Wink, wink. So now we're coming towards the end where we'll be at the front office at the beginning of the camp's ground. I gave that guy sitting in his chair like a 20 minute start, head start. <laughs> and here we are approaching the very end of Lover's Lane Trail, depending on which side you begin with. The end might be where my campsite is. That's the barn where they keep like, I guess, parts and stuff to fix things around the campground. And we are at the end. That's the beginning of the campground right there. And my campsite is up this way. And we're gonna end this video back at my campsite. In the meantime, you guys can take a look at some of the different housing and rentals that they have at this campsite. <laughs> some of them look like, some of them look like they've been around for like, whew, 
a very long time and needs, needs some reconstruction done to them. That's a nice little travel trailer, the R-Pod. I've spoken to the guy that owns that travel trailer. The guys in this travel trailer right here, these two guys, I spoke with them frequently during my stay here. Now this is the site that they originally gave me. Site 10. But they did not have like the wall socket. They only had that right there, which I need some type of attachment to make it work. That's the next thing I need to get get for my camping is some surge protectors as well as some adapters. So if I ever have to have a site like that, I can have the proper attachments so that I can still plug in my power stations. Anyway, it was a tent right there, but I guess they left. It was there for like two days. Someone was in that uh, home or space over the weekend. And you should start to see my, uh, my van. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Trailer park trash turnpike. <laughs> Woo. Some of these things look like they have been here for God knows so many years. All right, we are back at the campsite. That's the beginning of it right there where we started. Lover's Lane. And the sun is really beaming right there. All right, guys, I am not going to open this up because I don't feel like cleaning my cutlery up again. I have everything all nice and neat and packed away. And look at my glasses all crooked on my nose. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that little trail walk through Lover's Lane. Uh, I certainly did and certainly enjoyed taking you guys along that trail to show you what it was about. But as always, I thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And let's head to Orlando to start celebrating my 57th. Woo! Lord have mercy. I'm getting up there slowly but surely, and I'm trying to make it slowly. <laughs> I'll see you guys the next time.